All right, everyone, so we have a pretty good hand here. We're going to be on the keep. We have two Blooming Marshes, a tran, um, a Traverse, and a Grapple. So not a bad hand to have here. We're going to see what we're playing against. Uh, we're not dead to White Weenie, but we're certainly not super alive game one. Three Radiant Flames. Oh, sorry. Three Radiant Flames really makes up for it in game two, though. Um, yeah, so we're just going to Blooming Marsh Traverse for a Mountain. That's kind of the plan. And then if we have enough removal spells and Noxious Gear Hulks, we're going to be in good shape. So we have the double green, or the double black for Noxious. And we have double green for, like, Grapple Traverse, even though we don't really need that. And now we're just trying to get a red for Harness Lightning. Um, I mean, I guess if instead of Void Winnower and Cut, we had, like... I mean, what I'm trying to say is there are spots where you would get other lands, but I mean, you just obviously get a red land with this hand. You just don't want to risk having to grapple for exactly a mountain. Although, usually you'll be able to grapple for like an Aether Hub or something. Alright, so our opponent is playing Mardu. If they play a Heart of Kirin, what we do is kind of interesting. Okay, so no Heart of Kirin is good for me. Another Blooming Marsh. We can take a chance here and grapple. We can Blooming Marsh grapple, although I think we can do that next turn probably. So I'm just going to keep up Harness Lightning. Um, I guess they're sacrificing a clue here. An Irrigated Farmland. So they're Esper Vehicles. Esper Vehicles is a deck that's popped up in the last week and a half or so. It was popularized on Magic Online, like most like quote-unquote innovative decks. And it's been putting up pretty good results. Is it as good as Mardu Vehicles? I don't know. But it attacks from a slightly different angle. You have counter spells. Um, basically, I mean, you have counter spells for the... Uh, you have counter spells for the Marvel matchup and stuff. I'm going to grapple here. If I get countered, I get countered. If I get censored, I should say I get censored. Alright, I'll take a Servant. All right, I'm going to Blooming Marsh Servant here. I just don't want to get censored. That'd feel bad. I mean, as long as I'm able to stick some Noxious Gear Hulks, I feel like I'm in good shape. But I mean, Gideon is still kind of terrible, so... That, you know. Like, they, they obviously are playing four Gideons in their list, and Gideon is pretty bad here for us, so... Yep. Hmm. So what do we do next turn? I guess we play a Blooming Marsh, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to... So we're for sure go playing Gonti and grabbing one of their cards. And then also this is playing great defense for us. Not against Gideon, Gideon can get in, but it's going to be fine. Alright, um, I don't think I want a Fetid Pools. I think I just want a Archangel, right? And then I'm going to play Blooming Marsh, because if we draw a Forest or whatever, then we can play Game Trail Untapped. I think that's correct. But the only way to play Game Trail Untapped is if we draw an untapped land, and then we can just play that anyway. So I guess I just play the Game Trail so that I can uh, Lightning Cut next turn. Or I can Archangel next turn. Archangel is also pretty sweet. Alright. So we took their Archangel. Archangel is a card that I don't think is fantastic in the meta. I think that's kind of why... That's what probably why some of the decks that have played it have kind of fallen out of favor, so to speak. That being said, it's definitely not a bad deck. Or it's definitely not a terrible card of course i just don't know how great it is in the current metagame let's see what they play here scrap heap scrounger okay so i'm just going to play a blooming martian pass probably and then 
yeah, I mean, there's really no reason for me to do anything else. Um, I have a Gaunti to kind of prevent them from attacking. I have an Archangel. I guess I might as well make white anyways. Alright, so we got there. So Archangel going to come down here. We're going to get countered. What counter spell are they playing here? For three? I guess it could be censoring us. Oh, Metallic Rebuke. Yeah, that's kind of gross. Alright, I'm just going to trade with the Gonti here because I don't want to get totally messed up. Um, I'm kind of in a bad spot, suddenly. And I kind of did it to myself there, but now I don't have the six lands necessary. Yeah, now I don't have six lands, which is kind of a problem. Oh, now we do. Okay. So I'm going to Noxious Gear Hulk here. Killing a Night Ally. And then attacking Gideon with the Servant of the Conduit. So we only get to gain two, which isn't a whole lot. Uh, but we get to play some decent defense. We get to hit Gideon down to four, which is good for Noxious Gear Hulk killing Gideon next turn. We also have Traverse and Harness Lightning next turn. So it's not, it's not like unreasonable that we could have a turn in which we like draw land or something and then traverse into another noxious gear hulk or traverse into a torrential gear hulk play torrential you know whatever there are things we could figure out here cast out um one two three four five Ugh. we're like very close to dead now So how are we not going to die this coming turn? Ugh. We're basically going to have to find another Noxious Gear Hulk and then kill something. It's kind of the only way. At this point, how do we not die? We have to find an untapped land. Leona's Death Majesty, that doesn't do it, right? What does that do? Um... Instant sorcery creature. So that's not going to do it either. I was thinking I could go get Ishkina, but that's not going to do it either. Um, all right, we're just dead. That's a bit unfortunate. All right, so how are we going to deal with this? We're going to Radiant Flames in, Dissenter's Deliverance in. Um... Yeah, Gonti was okay, but not fantastic there, I don't think. So that our Void Winner is definitely out, I should say. Um, Honored Hydra is probably staying in. Ishkana's out, I think. Yeah, Ishkana's probably out. Um, Radiant Flames in for sure. What else? So we've taken out a Void Winner and Ishkana. We've bring in we've brought in three Radiant Flames. And two Dissenter's Deliverances. So we've brought in five cards. We've brought out one, two, three cards. So that's a two card difference, which makes sense. Combustible Gear Hulk probably isn't fantastic here. Worldbreaker is probably pretty good, though. Might be better than like the full Nihiri refurbished plan. And then maybe we just play like one Chandra instead of the last refurbished and we're just totally off the refurbished plan. That makes sense. I'm not too unhappy about that. I kind of dig it. Yeah, sometimes you just like cut the refurbished plan, which is kind of the problem with this deck, is that the um, what you're trying to do isn't always like the same thing from game to game or whatever, you know?
All right, so Cathartic Union could be fantastic here if we had refurbished, but we don't. This is also kind of the issue with playing Transgress over Attune with Aether. I liked the Attune with Aether version, although the Transgress version obviously has a better late game, so you kind of stick to that a little bit. Not exactly, you know, not exactly sure, like, where exactly Aether Attune is needed and where exactly Transgress is needed, but they intersect somewhere, and I guess we're just trying to find um, which is better. So we're going to Blooming Marsh at this point, and then we will attune our Aether Hub next turn, and then probably Grapple. I could also see playing a Vessel of Nascency, but again, then you're just getting into like Green Black Delirium, and at that point, if you're just trying to tune Green Black Delirium, you're not really working on this deck anymore, it feels. So I guess we're just going to Grapple. That makes the most sense. Scrap Peep Scrounger. All right, we're going to grapple with the past. We're going to grab a game trail. That's fine. I'm not going to anguish next turn. Ugh, another land's kind of bad. I don't have to anguish this turn. I mean, I can, but I don't have to. Um, I'm going to game trail showing forest. I'm going to pitch a... I actually don't want to pitch a Scare Hulk. I'm going to pitch Blooming Marsh Forest. Draw a million. All right, that was not a bad draw. So I have Tormenting... Okay, so now I'm one land off of Noxious Gear Hulking. The problem with not having refurbishes in the deck is that, like, you then kind of lose some of the cool stuff about your Cathartic Greenings and Tormenting Voices. All of a sudden, they're just kind of like dig spells. Which is sort of weak. I don't want to get my Tormenting Voice Spell Queller, that is for sure. Alright, I'm going to play a land. And I'm going to pass the turn. Yeah, just like, getting that Spell Queller is just so bad. So I can just cycle Descendant Deliverance, assuming that Noxious Gear Hulk is going to be able to come down and do some work, or I could kill this thing with a Descendant Deliverance. I think I'm just going to go ahead and kill it. Um, that is not the land I want to use. I want to use this land. Okay. I know it's going to come back at some point, but just like stopping them from being super aggro is kind of the key. If they Spell Queller that, then I'm just going to Harness Lightning their Spell Queller and then, you know do work in that spot all right um this is an interesting spot because we can liliana although then we're running into sensor and they might have sensors in on the play but that's really all we can run into we can't run into spell caller we can run into sensor yeah i just don't want to run into sensor i'll pass the turn See if they spell queller here. No spell queller. All right. At some point they're gonna do something, and then I'm gonna Liliana. Hmm. That was mad weird of them. All right. If I draw a land, then I'm okay. Do I just tormenting voice? So now we have plenty of energy to get stuff done. All right, I mean, I guess we're figuring out where this game goes, but I don't really know where it's going. A glory bound initiate, okay. Let's see if this gets spell quellered. If it does, I'm, I'm in really good shape, so I'm kind of hoping it gets Spell Quellered. Ugh, didn't get Spell Quellered. Alright, um, well, I am going to Liliana without having to fear Sensor. Maybe this gets negated. It can't get Spell Quellered, so I'm not too upset about that. It can get Metallic Rebuked, obviously. Yeah, that's fine. That is why I have another Liliana in, the, in, in hand, and I have a Noxious Gear Hulk in case anything real crazy goes down. It 
Gideon, okay. Make a guy with Gideon, I assume. Um, one white, one black, what am I worried about? I guess I'm just not worried about anything. I'm just going for Gear Hulk, kill the Night Ally. And then I'm playing a game trail, obviously, just to give me a little bit more mana. Because if I draw an untapped land, Liliana ing into Anguish and Making isn't the worst. Also, they somehow kill this Gear Hulk, like, without a cast out. That's pretty good for me. Even if they do cast her out, it's not the worst. If they anguish her making it, that's like where things get annoying. Yeah, now I kind of hope they play a creature. Although I imagine they're just going to do that, you know. Alright, we're going to try to kill this Gideon. Let's see if it works. Spell Queller. Okay. Well, we're going to try again. Um, yeah, we're going to try again. So it ended up, we just ended up having to use both of our anguish and makings which was kind of unfortunate oh no i did that totally wrong because if i had anguish and making the stasis snare wow i am so stupid because i could have anguish and making the stasis snare getting back the noxious gear hole killing the spell queller anguish and how dumb am i jeez i'm an idiot Yeah, I'm real stupid. Okay, um. So now I'd have something that can attack. What do I do now? I just like Liliana Plus, I guess. There's not even that much I can do at this point. So if I had a. Nah, right, if. Ugh, that's annoying. Alright, I mean, I shouldn't. I don't know if I should have won this game because I was still taking a ton of damage, but I should have gotten closer. That's annoying. Well, I'll see everybody for round number two. Thank you for watching round number one. Hope you're having a good time.